Turn to me and have mercy on me, O Lord, for I am alone and poor. See my loneliness and suffering and take away all my sins, my God. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, whose providence never fails in its design, keep from us, we humbly beseech you, all that might harm us, and grant all that works for our good. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. <clears throat> A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to Timothy. Beloved, I charge you in the presence of God and of Christ Jesus, who will judge the living and the dead, and by his appearing and his kingly power, proclaim the word. Be persistent whether it is convenient or inconvenient. Convince, reprimand, encourage all through patience and teaching. For the time will come when people will not tolerate, tolerate sound doctrine, but following their own desires and insatiable curiosity will accumulate teachers and will stop listening to the truth and will be diverted to myths. But you be self-possessed in all circumstances, put up with hardship, perform the work of an evangelist, fulfill your ministry. For I am already being poured out like a libation, and the time of my departure is at hand. I have competed well. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. From now on, the crown of righteousness awaits me, which the Lord, the just judge, will award to me on that day, but not only to me, but to all who have longed for his appearance. The word of the Lord. <coughs> I will sing of your salvation. I will sing of your salvation. My mouth shall be filled with your praise, with your glory day by day. Cast me not off in my old age. As my strength fails, forsake me not. I will sing of your salvation. But I will always hope and praise you ever more and more. My mouth shall declare your justice day by day, your salvation. I will sing of your salvation. I will treat of the mighty works of the Lord. O God, I will tell of your singular justice. O God, you have taught me from my youth. Until the present, I proclaim your wondrous deeds. I will sing of your salvation. So will I give you thanks with music on the lyre for your faithfulness, O my God. I will sing your praises with the harp, O Holy One of Israel. I will sing of your salvation. <clears throat> The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. In the course of his teaching, Jesus said, Beware of the scribes who like to go around in long robes and accept greetings in the marketplaces, seats of honor in synagogues and places of honor at banquets. They devour the houses of widows and as a pretext recite lengthy prayers. They will receive a very severe condemnation. He sat down opposite the treasury and observed how the crowd put, put money into the treasury. Many rich people put in large sums. A poor widow also came and put in two small coins worth a few cents. Calling his disciples to himself, he said to them, Amen, I say to you, this poor widow put, put in more than all the other contributors to the treasury, for they have all contributed from their surplus wealth, but she from her poverty has contributed all she had, her whole livelihood. The Gospel of the Lord. 
Well, I hope you had a chance today to watch the ordination of now Father Travis Karate. It's a great day for our diocese. It's a great day for the church. And if you haven't had a chance to watch it, by the way, you can go to KTIV uh, Station in Sioux City, their Facebook page, or uh, in a couple of weeks or in several days, hopefully we'll have that uploaded uh, to our uh, diocesan website as well. It's a beautiful celebration. Someone who was previously a deacon, committed to service, now committed to offering sacrifice on behalf of his people. It's something personally that I recall myself going through just a year ago. And for me, it's a reminder, especially this fits perfectly in today's readings, on what it means to be a person of ministry to fulfill our ministry, as St. Paul says. And this is just not me. I'm not the only one called to ministry. I'm not the only one called to witness to God. Each one of us, don't, don't just let the priests and the deacons do it. We are all called to minister to the people of God. And as we've been saying over the past several weeks, one good way to do that is to become familiar with the word of God, to be able to communicate that to people and that they understand in ways that they understand and to be knowledgeable about our faith as well. But above and beyond all of that, it's to be in constant relationship with Jesus Christ. Because if we know Christ intimately, then we will also know his doctrine. We will know what he teaches. In the midst of all of this, we are being poured out like a libation, as Paul says, Father Travis, now today, as he serves our diocese, is being poured out for his people. He is a sacrifice being given for all. When I'm consecrating the Eucharist, something that I often think about is how I will be poured out for all of you. And that's our invitation again for each one of us to pour ourselves out with the reception of this Eucharist, to go forth with the reception of the Word of God, to go forth and to fulfill your ministry, to proclaim the word of God, to pour yourself out before the rest of God's people so that they might come to know Jesus Christ, the one whom we love and whom we serve. Confident in our most merciful Lord, let us bring our prayers before him. <clears throat> We pray that the church may receive the favor of the Lord and protection against idols and false gods of our world. Let us pray to the Lord. We pray that all nations may prosper under the benefit, under the beneficent hand of God and be blessed with peaceful resolution to conflict. Let us pray to the Lord. We pray for all who are poor, sick, imprisoned, or lonely, that they may, might be delivered from their burdens through the healing wounds of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. That God may bless all men and women from our community serving in the armed services and return them safely to their families. Let us pray to the Lord. We pray for Father Travis Karate, for all of those who have recently been ordained and will be ordained to the priesthood this spring. That God might bless them and allow themselves to be poured out for the love of God's people. Let us pray to the Lord. And we pray for all of our faithful departed, that they may soon sit at the banquet of the Lord in his kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Ever loving and gracious Father, we humbly offer these petitions to you today. We ask that you grant them through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Trusting in your compassion, O Lord, we come eagerly with our offerings to your sacred altar, that through the purifying action of your grace, we may be cleansed by the very mysteries we serve. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord, our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love, his resurrection we confess with living faith, and his coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as with that end, we acclaim. Holy, holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Walker our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin 
and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on her sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and, uni and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Governed by your spirit, we pray, O Lord, those you feed with the body and blood of your Son, that professing you not just in word and in speech, but also in works and in truth, may merits to enter the kingdom of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace.